thunderous applause. Hey, and so, so spontaneous, so spontaneous Fitz Rays. Oh my gosh, sorry for the delay. My name is Jordan Minter. We are with the news load tonight, and we are taping. This is a live taping of some of London's best coming comics. Upcoming, some say. Not tonight. <laughs> Just coming comics. Your news load is here. We have a showcase tonight. We're filming this, and we're going to chop it up and make it pretty and basically try to get out of here. I'm trying to Bieber this bitch. I'm trying to... <laughs> That's how Bieber did it. Not, not by stand-up comedy, but... Getting discovered. I'm trying to kickstart some stuff. I'm trying to get us on our way. That little fuckbag was just playing guitar outside of a radio station in a podunk town in Ontario. And the DJ saw him and said, you're pretty good, kid. And he's like, yeah. And he said, you want to go on the air? And he's like, yeah. He went on the air. And the rest is er, history. The rest is history. Point is... You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta put yourself in front of people or you won't get seen. It's basic math or science or history. I don't know what it is. It's basic geography. It's what it is. If you're not the right place at the right time, ain't nobody gonna see you. So I thank you for coming to witness this and be a part of the footage which will then go further and further and further. Little bit about myself since nobody asked. I'm a humble son of a bitch, pretty great at everything I do. What I've been doing lately, I took a buyout from an internet company. I, not that kind of buyout. I was the uh, glorified janitor. I was a facilities technician. Fancy title for the guy that cleaned up inside and outside human poo. Yes, human poo. That's for the gag reel. Uh, we worked at this place way down uh, east of Adelaide. And uh, let me tell you something about east of Adelaide. <laughs> it's all true. Uh, my rounds, I would clean up the outside of the building. Then I'd go clean the inside of the building. On a good day, the inside was better. But then COVID came and everybody went home. And I got to still maintain this building. Some days being the only one working there. It used to house a couple hundred people, but on some days peak COVID, it was literally just me, which is fine because A, I like to show up hungover. B, I like to take naps when I'm hungover. C, how did I get to four? I like to uh, drink at work and I like to fool around with coworkers, which I did a lot of because I was completely alone. You just got to know where the cameras are. That's, I'm not, listen, I'm not dumb and I got to operate those cameras. So sometimes they got turned off and I went into the lunchroom and fucked a dishwasher. But uh, took the buyout and now I've been hosting and promoting and putting on different shows all around town. We do trivia, guys. I do trivia here at the lovely Fitzray's. We do trivia here, these are, these are the plugs, Sunday afternoons, I do trivia here Monday evenings, I do trivia at another place on Tuesdays, and I do trivia Thursdays at Western with the kids, I call it the Babysitter's Club. And you would think they would be the savages, but when we do trivia for corporate events, let me tell you, did they cheat? These guys, that's how you get to the top, Jordan, I get it, but like, here's the thing when you're cheating with trivia, these glow. I can see you. I see you're on your phone right now. And that's okay, because this is not a test. But when there's music playing and they're like openly shazamming and then like, I got it, I got it. Oh, Jenkins got it, everybody. <laughs> Cheating galore. But the kids at Western, pens and, and paper, they're legitimately like, like it's an exam. Like I was the proctor, and they're the best. I'm only saying that because I'm trying to renegotiate this contract. Wow, what a load.